Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video for the channel. And today we're going to discuss SMT5 everything. SMT5, we got a little bit of news and we got just some topics that I definitely want to talk about today. Should be interesting. If you're new to the channel, if you want to stay up to date on any type of news, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona, Atlas in general, you're at the right place. Make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell. And if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up helps a lot. But today we are focusing on SMT5 and SMT5 only. Now, of course, yesterday on September 23rd, there was a Nintendo Direct, big Direct, 40 minutes Direct. There was some big announcements, Bayonetta 3, uh, the cast for the Mario movie, and that got people all excited. But in terms of Atlas stuff, uh, we were only expecting SMT5. You guys gotta know that sometimes when, in terms of Nintendo Directs, there can be certain differences between the Direct that we're getting in the West and the Direct that they're getting in Japan. And that was the case for yesterday's Direct. So what happened is, in Japan, they got a minute trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'm going to put it on screen right now. You guys can check it out. It is a very cool trailer. It shows some new demons. It shows a returning demon that gave me one hell of a hard time in DDS. So that got um, that that made me laugh a little bit. I was like, oh my god, not this, not this asshole again. <laughs> so that was cool. It was a great trailer overall, but super short, like one minute long for the direct in Japan. But in terms of us in America. Well, they did, they did SMT5 dirty. I don't know what happened with Nintendo's uh, or, or Atlas West here, but there was like 10 seconds of footage for SMT5, and it was just dropped in a batch of announcements between like two indie games that I already forgot what they are. That was tough. That was pretty rough. I was like, what are they doing? They are basically sleeping on their biggest third-party exclusive for this holiday season, and that's really, really surprising to me. I was expecting... Nintendo to give the a one big final push to Shin Megami Tensei 5 with a big trailer to three or four minutes trailer But that was not the case uh, It was 10 seconds and it was saying hey digital pre-orders are now live So yes, you guys can go and pre-order uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 if you want right now digitally It's possible to do so right at this point But I want to talk about what happened here a little bit more um, my bet uh, is that Nintendo possibly wanted a dub trailer for this show, uh, especially in America. I, I think Nintendo was probably okay with a minute trailer because that's what they got in Japan, but I think they wanted a dub trailer. And I don't think a dub trailer is ready. I, I simply don't. Uh, I'm. Pr we know that there's going to be a dub for Shin Megami Tensei 5. That was confirmed already, so I'm not doubting that one bit. But in terms of Atlas, they tend to show their dubs very late, especially recently. We've seen it with Knockin HD recently, the latest release. That's why I think it's a little bit too soon, to be completely honest with you guys. But I think it's going to happen at some point. Uh, we're probably going to hear about the dub, um, not at Tokyo Game Show, because this is a Japanese event. But a little bit closer to launch, we're going to hear who's uh, casting the characters for Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'm not worried, but I, I cannot wait to hear the dub. So I, I fully understand what you guys mean there. Uh, in other news, I do want to talk about the actual pre-orders. If you go to Nintendo's official website and you click on Shin Megami Tensei 5, you look at the section for the digital pre-order of the game, um, I was notified and I saw some people talking about on Twitter the copyrights that are written down on the site. Because if you look at the copyrights on the official Nintendo site for Shin Megami Tensei 5, it is very interesting. So I'm going to quote the copyright. It is... Atlas Sega All Rights Reserved. Atlas is registered in the US Patent and Trademark Office. Atlas, the Atlas logo, Shin Megami Tensei, and this is the interesting part. Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne and SMT are either registered trademarks or trademarks of Atlas Co.ltd or its affiliates. So that got people thinking. They were like, oh, oh Nocturne? Why is Nocturne in the copyrights on the official Nintendo of America site for the SMT5 page? It's strange. Is it because there's Nocturne content in uh, SMT5? It's strange. Um, I talked with a fellow content creator, Eleven, uh, also a viewer of the channel, big supporter of the channel for a while now. Thank you, Eleven. And she makes some super awesome content, by the way. She, she remixes some of the some, some SMT tracks and... It's, it's really awesome, so I suggest you guys give her a follow. Check out her YouTube channel. She's really great. I'm going to link her content in the description below. But she reached out to me, uh, and we, we talked about 
what happened what's going on with that copyright here and we were both thinking it's probably something it has to be something what's going on uh demi fiend in the game possibly we also oh, 11 also brought up uh the fact that chiaki's team is, is uh, we can hear her team in a certain trailer i think it was in the news report number two if i'm not mistaken so maybe that's the case do they have to put nocturne's copyright just for one track i don't know so we were thinking maybe there's something more maybe there's a demi fiend secret boss fight so Eleven looked a little bit more into it before I had a chance to do so, so thank you Eleven. Uh, she looked and actually what happened is it, they copy-pasted the, the, the copyright segment for Nocturne's HD page because if you go to the uh, Nintendo site, you go to the Nocturne HD section, you look at the copyrights, it is the exact same for Nocturne HD. So possibly a little mistake, they just copy-pasted uh, Nocturne's a HD uh, copyright at the bottom of the sheet and there's nothing else it, there's nothing more but we kept looking and 11 immediately thought of apocalypse shin megami tensei 4 apocalypse if you guys don't know there's a dlc that you can buy which allows you to fight uh all the the older protagonists you can fight the main character in the base as in the first smt game you can fight aleph you can fight the demi fiend and also flynn so we went and looked at the eShop and nintendo site once, once again to look at the trademarks and it's just shin megami tensei and smt there's no there's no smt nocturne or anything like that so i wouldn't look too much into it i don't think there's nothing here in terms of the nocturne copyright i think it's just a simple mistake and i think the final conclusion with this is if you go to shin megami tensei 5 site in the copyright nocturne is not there so it, it's definitely nothing but i still wanted to bring it up very quickly final news for this video is actually upcoming news for shin megami tensei 5 i've seen some people that were really bummed at the lack of of content in the direct yesterday i was i definitely was you guys saw my reaction it made you laugh once again i'm a i'm, I'm a walking meme at this point <laughs> Tokyo Game Show Shin Megami Tensei 5 is on the schedule. We're definitely going to get a lot of information, would be my bet, in terms of Tokyo Game Show. We're probably going to see hands on footage for the game as well at TGS, and that's next week. So if you want to watch my streams, because I took the day off, I'm going to be streaming the show. Make sure to ring the notification bell and subscribe if you're new. Uh, and I'm also going to do some news episodes for that. But there's also something else. Atlas in Japan, they just confirmed that we are getting that sweet news volume 3. Uh, that was confirmed to be coming in September. They waited, but it is finally coming, and it is actually on Sunday. Sunday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to get the news volume 3. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm here for it, to be honest. I'm doing a reaction once again for that reveal. I think it's going to be super dope, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the news volume tree so thank you all for watching this little discussion slash news update in terms of shin megami tensei 5 nintendo snubbed smt uh, at this point we don't really know why i don't think there's a big correlation between nocturne and smt 5 at this point yes there's still reasons to believe that there's links between nocturne and smt 5 that was also confirmed by mi which is working on the game at team maniacs so i think there's something to be had but in terms of the copyright don't think too much of it we looked into it and there's no, no nothing to, to figure out with this it's just it seems to be just a little mistake and in terms of new updates and information for smt5 we gotta wait until sunday or just next week with tokyo game show it's gonna be hype i'm excited guys thank you all for watching as always a thumbs up helps and drop a comment you just let me know what you think about the topics that we discussed today thank you all have a great day have a great weekend and we'll see you back on sunday with the news volume three bye